The terms decorticate and decerebrate refer to abnormal posturing that typically occurs in the context of serious brain injury. It occurs when one set of muscles becomes inactivated whilst the antagonist muscle group is not. It can be demonstrated by applying a painful stimulus such as supraorbital pressure or performing a trap squeeze. Given that they're both indicative of serious brain injury, they're both associated with a generally poor prognosis. In decorticate posturing, the flexor muscle groups of the upper limbs predominate, making the patient flex their arms towards their core. A useful way of remembering this is that decorticate is towards the core. In decerebrate posturing, the extensor muscles of the upper limbs predominate, resulting in internal rotation of the arms and extension at the elbows. The word decerebrate has several E's, and it can be remembered as E for extensors. In both forms of posturing, the extensor muscles of the lower limbs predominate, resulting in extension of the lower limbs. The reason these forms of posturing are different is thought to be related to a key structure within the midbrain called the red nucleus. It's the origin of the rubrospinal tract, which is responsible for control of muscle tone in flexor muscle groups. Decorticate posturing arises due to brain injury above the level of the red nucleus in the midbrain. This results in disinhibition of the red nucleus and the rubrospinal tract, leading to increased stimulation of the flexor muscles of the upper limbs. On the Glasgow Coma Scale, it gives a motor score of 3. Decerebrate posturing, on the other hand, arises due to brain injury below the level of the red nucleus. Disruption of the rubrospinal tract results in impairment of flexion and hence abnormal extension in the upper limbs. Decerebrate posturing is considered a more serious sign as it is suggestive of an injury lower down in the brainstem. It therefore gives a GCS motor score of 2. Though there are some neuroanatomical differences in terms of their causes, the main point to remember is that both forms of abnormal posturing are suggestive of significant brain injury, more specifically current or impending brain herniation. Music